Stephanie Motto continues to walk the line between hustling your way to success and acting like a D-list Batman villain. We are of course referring to her infamous fart jar business, in which horny customers can pay big bucks for her malodorous jars. Stephanie has decided to resume sales after taking a break last year following a health scare related to the gig. Over the weekend, she promoted her relaunch of the product line by handing out free samples at a strip club, 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days alum Stephanie Motto was at Larry Flint's Hustler Club in New York on Saturday. There, she gifted her unspeakable products to the first 20 people to walk through the door. That might sound like grounds for olfactory terrorism charges, but it's a promotion. As before, Stephanie's jars are paired with salacious Polaroid photos, ones that you won't find online. She also includes rose petals in her jars. Maybe the petals are there because the jars seem empty without them, but she says that she feels that they hold the smell better. Stephanie did not limit her visit to offerings of complimentary flatus containers. Instead, she actually took to the stage and offered a few words to the crowd. Last year, she raked in six figures through this business, so it's not really a surprise that she is up to her old tricks again. Stephanie's widely publicized flatus jar sales turned out to be a limited run of the product. At first, it was offered to a specific customer who requested it. Realizing that others might pay for the same, Stephanie expanded her offer to others, for the low, low price of $1,000 per jar. Stephanie at one point even offered a 50% discount, reducing the jars to a veritable steal at $500, in order to keep up with demand, she shared. She started a new diet, including foods like green yogurt to increase gas production. Stephanie wasn't shy about walking her social media followers through her process as tales of her sales went viral. It all came crashing down when Stephanie experienced discomfort in her chest and, fearing the worst, went to the hospital. As almost anyone over the age of 30 might guess, this was not a rare but technically possible heart attack in a young woman. Instead, it was heartburn. Her body was producing a lot of gas, and some was lodged in her esophagus. Uncomfortable and scary, but not exactly dire. We're not doctors and would not presume to dispense medical advice, but we've heard it said that if a burp or sip of cold water eases the discomfort, it's usually gas. However, after Stephanie's health scare, she decided to step back from her vile business. At the time, it was even speculated that the health scare was a pretense to shut down the product line, giving her a break, and driving up demand for more. That demand is now being met, one assumes, given that Stephanie is back on the flatulence scene. She is also, she recently revealed, undertaking another profitable endeavor. This one, like the jars, is profitable and deeply degrading to her customers, not to her. Stephanie is scolding adult men on the phone for not cleaning their rooms, berating them to tidy up. The kink angle of this is just as obvious as the underlying mommy issues. If you want Stephanie to motivate you to clean up, or just turn you on by trying, be ready to pony up $100 a minute. Honestly, even if the mere mention of the expulsion of digestive gases is distasteful, we don't hate that she's back at it. Stephanie has a right to sell her foul products, and pervs have a right to buy it. Plus, it's much better than her fart jar NFTs, since NFTs are an indefensible scam and almost universally reviled by those who understand them.